Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hi, welcome, my name is Brooke. I'm a barista so a lot of my videos are going to be like drink recipes, coffee recipes, that kind of stuff. I do have some random videos in here as well, like on my channel I have some thrift hauls, I have um, makeup videos, I have vlogs, it's just my whole life is on this channel and it's sporadic but majority of it is coffee related or drink recipe related <laughs> so if you guys are interested in any of that then you should definitely subscribe I'd appreciate it I love any support that I can get so much appreciated but yeah so if you guys are interested in learning how to make my matcha which honestly is the best you can't it's the best no <laughs> I mean I can't say it's the best but like I personally feel like it's the best which is why I'm making this video so if you're interested in that, then keep watching. So, what you guys are going to need to make this matcha is super simple. Um, you're going to need some heavy cream. I'm using the Trader Joe's Organic Heavy Cream. If you don't use dairy, just get like a coconut cream, just a thick cream base. Um, you're going to need some maple syrup. I'm using Costco's because it's the most affordable and it's great quality, honestly. And you're going to need some kind of milk. I'm going to be using almond milk. I know some of you are going to be like, why are you using almond milk and then using dairy heavy cream? Because I can. And last but not least, obviously, you're going to need matcha. I am using the Encha Matcha. Um, I was struggling finding a good matcha for a long time, so that's why there's like no matcha videos on my channel. I didn't want to like make a video and recommend a matcha that tastes like not great and isn't the best quality. But I just tried this one and it's really good. So this is what you want in a matcha. Um, it's ceremonial grade. It's directly from Japan. It's organic. You just can't can't beat it. It was 20 bucks for this packet, which is one ounce. It's kind of expensive. But if you know matcha, you know the matcha is expensive. It's pricey. You pay you pay for what you get for. If you buy a cheap matcha, don't expect it to be the smoothest matcha you've ever had. It's probably going to be a little bitter, maybe a little chalky. I don't recommend it. If you're going to get matcha, invest. It's worth it. So, for the remainder of making this drink, I'm going to zoom in, I think, because if I'm doing this, you're not going to be able to like get a good view of what's going on with the drink, and that's the whole point in this video, right? Okay, so I'm going to zoom in, show you guys the whole situation with how you assemble this beautiful matcha and yeah so let's get in okay so this is going to be where we're putting the matcha so we're just going to move that out of the way this is what I'm going to put the milk in so it's like aesthetically pleasing so we're going to move that out of the way as well oh and I forgot to mention you're going to need a milk frother um, if you don't have a milk frother a hand whisk is fine or if you have one of these like electric whisks things these work great too, and this is what I'm going to be using, so. So first things first is we are going to make the matcha. You're going to need about a teaspoon and a half of matcha. Um, matcha does have caffeine, so if you're not used to caffeine, do a little less, you know? Okay, uh, it might be a little bit too much, but it's okay. We are caffeinated on this channel, so it's perfectly fine. So you're going to need the matcha. After that is you're going to need some water, obviously, to mix into the matcha. I'm going to use about three tablespoons of water. Kind of more than that. A good amount of water. You're going to want a good amount of water just to get the powder incorporated in there. And I'm going to try and do this. You're just going to mix it up. Get all the clumps out. Like I said, if you don't have a um, hand mixer like this, like a hand frother, for you, or if you don't have a milk frother, just use a whisk. You're fine. I know they also have those like fancy matcha whisks. You know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So you're going to take your matcha mixture and you're going to set it aside. 
And then you're gonna take a bowl. This bowl is probably gonna be too big, but it's okay. You're gonna take a bowl. You're gonna put in some maple syrup. Like that much, you know, a good pour. Obviously, it's gonna depend on like the sweetness level you prefer. Um, I like my matcha a little sweet. Just a sweet gal, that's just how I like things. You're gonna take your heavy cream and you're gonna shake it up. And then again, so with this measurement as well, so for this video, a lot of the measurement is gonna be on your personal preference. Obviously the matcha, you're gonna use about a teaspoon and a half and you're gonna use a good amount of water, like three, four tablespoons of water. Um, after that, for the maple syrup or whatever sweetener you're gonna use, if you're going to use a sweetener, I know some people don't like their matcha sweet, be that as it may, don't use a sweetener. If you're gonna use a sweetener, just sweeten it to your taste. If you're gonna use the cream mixture, as much as you'd like, you know? You can always adjust everything, nothing is set in stone. I'm just gonna do like that much. Now this part's gonna be kinda hard because this bowl's too big, but it's okay. You're gonna go back in with your milk frother and you're gonna start it up. This bowl is way too big for the amount of liquid I have in there, which I should have thought about, but I didn't, it's okay. And you're just, what you're doing here is you're trying to make it just like a sweet cream foam to put on top of the matcha. If you don't want to do that, just don't do it. It's okay, you don't have to. I promise it'll still taste good. We're just gonna go in there and make it all thick until you get the consistency that you're looking for. And frame there, so you're gonna take your ice, please don't, and you're just gonna pour it ah. in there. Okay, if you're wondering if the thing in the background is paper it is but listen listen I couldn't get it to look good okay okay so milk like I said I'm using almond milk you don't have to use almond milk if you don't want to okay and the matcha Now, the cream. I don't know if that looks the most aesthetic, but it's okay. I'm gonna put it in there and give her a mix. There we have her. So yeah guys, here she is. Here is the beautiful creation that we made together. Um, let's try it. Mm. Bliss. If you like matcha, please try this, please. Do you see the foam separation on the top? This is why I use heavy cream. Like I said, if you are dairy free, no problem at all, use coconut cream. Do it. Try this. She's too beautiful to not. Look at her. Come on. So if you guys are big matcha lovers and you're like me and you go and spend like $6 on a cup of matcha for no reason, Please try making it at home. It's so much more affordable. It's cost friendly. It tastes better. You're using better ingredients. You know what you're putting into it. You have control over how much sweetener goes into it. You have control over what kind of milk you put into it, what kind of sweetener you put into it, how it's made, how much matcha you put, you know? Because a lot of places they don't put very much matcha, and then if you ask for extra matcha, it's like a dollar more, which is like, I get matcha is expensive, but it's a little excessive in my opinion. Yeah guys, so I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below any video ideas that you guys want to see, or anything like that, or just comment down below, tell me how your day's going, you know? Tell me if you thought my video was good. Don't tell me if you thought it was trash, because like, I don't need that negativity. Just, just exit out and continue on with your day. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good day or evening, wherever it is, whatever time it is, where you are at. 
can't speak properly. Oh my god, am I a robot? Maybe. Maybe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next one. Bye!